Golf cart, Raptor 212, parts video. I got all my friends out here grazing. They make for a pretty good backdrop. So, you just saw the introduction. I first shot this video when it was 20 degrees at. Excuse me, I'm doing the video. I first shot this video when it was 28 degrees outside. That's why I was all bundled up on the golf cart. But my equipment shut down and it didn't save the video. So now we're doing it with it being a little bit nicer. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to point out some stuff on the golf cart. And I got wrote down what I paid for it. You'll see that on the screen when the picture pops up. And some of the prices have adjusted a little bit. The only thing that has went up dramatically is the torque converter. But there are still torque converters on eBay that are roughly the same price. Just the particular link that I bought mine from, it's went up significantly. So let's just talk about a few things. All right, so all my stand here for my bearings, it was just built out of scrap metal. Now look, um, I realize not everybody has scrap metal laying around like I do, but if you go to any place that builds anything out of metal, they're going to have scrap metal laying around. And the only thing I would change different about this is my engine plate. I would have used 8th inch steel instead of 16th inch steel that's just braced a lot. But I came back here with quarter inch steel, so you're going to need, this could have been angle iron, I used flat bar. Um, all of this is quarter inch steel. Anyway, that's just something that you kind of got to work out. That's the, that's the most fabrication of it. Alright, but moving right along. These are pillow block bearings. I like doing projects. Um, you can get two for like $15. I gave $23 for four of them. Uh, they're 5 8 bore, and they're even cheaper than that now. They've went down a couple dollars. This part right here is a collar. That's a collar. And there's, yeah, I just got two collars on it right now. Collars, uh, 5 8 bore again. That just helps everything to not move. And the reason, because the first sprocket that I bought was very, very cheap. I think I only had like $10 in even shipping and everything. But the set screws in it were not strong enough to hold it on the shaft with this kind of power coming through it. And this is not even a tremendous amount of power. But um, once I turned the motor up and I realized I didn't need that small of a sprocket, I just went to Tractor Supply. I bought a hub. This is either a V-hub or a W-series hub. I don't remember. But either way. All you got to do is get a hub, you can order them off of eBay too, um, and then you order the adjoining sprocket to it. Like if you wanted a W hub, you type in W series hub 5 8 bore, and a W hub would come up and it'd have a 5 8 bore. And normally they're, I don't know, $12, $15. This one here from Tractor Supply was $12. And Tractor Supply also carries sprockets. Now these sprockets come completely separate and you weld them to the hub. It's very, very simple, very, very easy to do. And that sprocket as well from Tractor Supply was about $12. So this little contraption right here, I got about $22 in. And I could have ordered it all off eBay, but you know, whenever you can buy something local, that's cool too. Now this is nickel chain. I went ahead and got 10 feet because, oops, sorry about that. I got other projects lumen that's going to require 40 chain. Um, the reason I use 40 chain, it's a little bit bigger than 35, and um, even if I go to a bigger engine on this, 40 chain will still be able to handle it. So I went ahead and got 10 feet, and I got like, like 10 feet for $17 because it was nickel. It it would have been cheaper. Hey, okay. hit the road, man. You can get regular chain that's not nickel plated cheaper than that. I think right now it's $16, $17. The nickel chain has went up just a little bit. Okay, this jaw coupler. The first thing I started out doing was ordering a 5 8 jaw coupler set, which comes with this side, this side, 
and the spider. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I'll put it on the screen. Okay, that's all well and good, but I could only use this side for this project. Because this side, if you see the build video, has to be 13 sixteenths. Now, I'll be honest with you. This size jaw coupler is a Lovejoy 075. And there's a donkey right next to the camera. Now, a 13 sixteenths in an L075 is a little hard to find. 75 is how big it is right here. Okay? Now, a 13 sixteenths in an L100, which is about this big, is much easier to find. But if this side's an L100, this side has to be an L100. And I was kind of trying to keep it small and compact. But I went to a company called MRO Supply. And a 13 sixteenths one side of a jaw coupler was only about 6 bucks, But they had a $25 minimum to get free shipping. So I went ahead and ordered three of them. And a couple of these rubber spiders. Alright, let's talk torque converter. Torque converter bolts right to the uh, engine. All you got to do is put in Predator 212 torque converter. There's a million of them that will come up and they vary in price quite a bit. I only paid like, I don't know, $57 for this one. But if I click on the same link today, it's up to just under $100. It's like $99.95. And I don't know that I would pay that for the same one because a lot of the other links that come up have them for $56, $57. And they appear to be the same torque converter. Now look, I don't know. But here's the deal. It's a $60 part. And I've heard of people talk about this back plate breaking. This, this plate right here breaking. But, I mean, I've been mud riding and all kind of stuff. I haven't had any problems thus far. The engine, this one come right off the shelf at Harbor Freight. It's had nothing done to it. I had a coupon for $97.99. I think out the door, tax and all, it was $107. The only other thing I got on this thing is a throttle cable. It's about seven bucks. Um, these little U-bolts that I welded to those bars, uh, they're like $2.50 a piece. Let me go down my, oh, the jack shaft. This is a 5 8 fully keyed jack shaft and it's about $16 it has not changed $15.71 this was a 12 inch piece I had to cut two inches off because I couldn't leave the whole uh, piece right there I've talked converter I've talked pillow block bearings throttle cable uh, the 3 16 side of the jaw coupler from MRO supply there are other supply companies that have it as well um, this 5 8 coupler. This is $19 on eBay. Oh, my seat. This is marine vinyl. Um, I ordered way too much of it, but I needed to have enough to do this part of the seat and the backrest, and I have plenty of vinyl left over. I paid $30 for it. I don't remember how much I got, though. But Hobby Lobby's got that, and I may have just went to Hobby Lobby and bought it had I known that at the time. I went over the first sprocket that I bought. Of course, this is the second setup. This slowed it down just a little bit, but gave it more power. The nickel chain. Oh, the first chain I put on there, I put the master link, the keeper on the master link on backwards, and it nicked the torque converter, and it knocked it off. Well, when I put the second one on there, I put it on there the right way. I've had no more problems, but I did order a pack of master links for seven dollars that hasn't changed and look um i ordered tires twice i don't have big fancy tires these are just regular old rear tires like would go on a lawnmower but they really do an excellent job um two of them are about 60 to 62 dollars <sighs> all right zoom this back out So, there's my Predator 212 powered EasyGo golf cart. This one's a 1990 Marathon. 
Uh, there's other videos involving this that say what I was going to do, and then I did it, and I showed you how to do it. Uh, another video shows some upgrades. And there's another video coming along of what's coming up next for it. And there's a wish list video of things that I don't really have plans to buy, but I sure would like to. So, if you got any questions about anything, look, I really like this golf cart and it has been very, very useful. But I'll get into all that later about why this is the perfect setup for me. If you got any questions, comment. If you like weird stuff that I'm building, I got an RC boat that I'm building right now with a Predator 212 2 inch water pump. So if you like fabrication and just, hey, what can I make this do? I got a couple of other videos coming up. I'm talking with my sponsor, my checkbook, to see if we can do some more fabricating mechanical projects. But if you like that kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button. Um, every subscriber would help us out, right? Look, not everything's building some stuff, uh, building some building stuff. Um, a lot of stuff's just out here with the animals on the farm. You got an attitude? You want that? You gonna build a golf cart? Anyway, I'm Chris from Key Farm. There's a donkey about to knock the camera over, so I think it's probably a great time to end this video. I wish you'd love God, love people, and keep watching Key Farm.